Hey guys, it's Casey. I was the Unit B unit leader at Louise last year, and I am here today to teach you guys how to make some slime in a bag. Alright, so I hope you all are doing so good. I miss you all so much. It's so crazy to be home at, in a random day in the middle of the summer. It's so crazy not to be running around camp like crazy, but to bring you guys some camp, we want to do some DIY things with you. So, today we're going to be making slime in a bag, and you need some great ingredients before we start. The very first thing you need is a bag. Any type of bag will do. This is just a plastic bag. This is a sandwich size bag, but you can have a quart size or you can have a gallon size. Whatever will work. The next thing you're going to need is liquid glue. So you can have any type of liquid glue. This is just some glue I had from school. Anything will really work. You can use clear glue also. I usually just use white glue. Whatever kind you have will work. The next thing you guys are going to need is contact solution. Any type of saline solution will work and you can get this at any store that has bath products. And the last thing you guys are going to need, this is my favorite, is anything you want to decorate your slime with. So I always use some sort of food coloring and then I also found these really pretty sparkles in my house. So any type of sparkles, beads, foam beads, anything will do just fine for your slime. So the very first step we're going to do is open up your bag. And now if you haven't got all your materials together, Go ahead and pause this video and make sure you go and get those first, that we have everything together. So if you haven't got your things, go ahead and go get them right now, alright? Pause me, come back to me when you're ready, alright? A little bit easier to camp sometimes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my glue and I am just going to open it right up. I'm not going to worry about the little spout. Open it up, nice and neat. And I'm going to pour some in my bag. Again, you can pour as much or as little as you want. I usually just do it so that it's covering the bottom of the bag. Pour it in, kind of just squeeze it out a little bit. There we go. That is, that right there is plenty. You can do more or less of it. It really just depends on what kind of bag you have, what size you have, and how much glue you have. So I'm going to close this back up so I make sure I don't spill it anywhere. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my contact solution out. So I'm just going to open that up. Mine's a pop top. I'm going to open up my slime bag and I'm just going to pour it right in there. Kind of mine squirts out so I'm just going to squirt it right in there. See me doing it right in there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to close the bag. This is very important so it doesn't get everywhere. Close the bag and I'm just going to mix it up with my hands. Mix it up, mix it up. Now you'll start to notice that it's not sticking to the bag nearly as much when you put the contact solution in with it. So I'm going to work it in, work it in, all right, and you'll notice that it's either starting to not stick to the bag or that it's still sticking a lot like mine is. So if it's still sticking a lot, what I need to do is add more contact solution. And again, open it up, stick it right in, pour it right in there, give it a good squeeze seal my bag back up that's very important give it another squeeze and once I start to notice that it's not sticking to the bag but it's also not bubbly if it's bubbly that means you have too much contact solution and to just pour some more glue in it so I'm gonna work it down so it's at the bottom and I'm gonna open it a little bit just to see if it's still sticking to the sides Oh yeah, mine is definitely still sticking to the sides. Again, I'm just going to add some more contact solution. Close her up. Get it working. Another thing I sometimes like to do is I sometimes like to use a popsicle stick. But if it's in a bag, you probably don't need a popsicle stick. in there, working it in there, making sure it's a good consistency. So it's definitely looking like slime, but it doesn't quite feel like it just yet. You can tell it's slime when, again, it's not sticking to the sides. So you can kind of see when I open mine, it's still sticking to all the sides. So I'm going to keep working on it. Remember, if it's still sticking to the sides, to add more contact solution. 
All right, and I've been putting a lot of contact solution in. So after this one, I think I might add some more glow. Again, just working it in, working it in. Definitely starting to get that right consistency. And you can tell, again, it's not sticking to the sides of the bag nearly as much anymore. Work it in, work it in. I'm going to run my fingers so that it forms to the bottom. Goes all the way to the bottom. Nice and neat. Alright, one more time. I'm going to add some more contact solution. Give it a good amount that time. I might even add just a little dab of glue. Put the lid back on it, close this lid back up. Definitely close my bag. Again, just working around with my hands. Just working it down so I can kind of see the consistency all together so it's not just all spread out. Ah. Definitely see almost done sticking to all the sides. The majority of it is no longer sticking to the sides. So what I'm going to do is now it's the fun part. I'm gonna start to decorate mine but of course I'm gonna use green because of camp. So, open my bag very carefully. I'm gonna add, open this up very carefully because it can stain. I'm gonna add two drops. One, two. I'm gonna hold on to the bag so it doesn't fall over and I'm going to put the cap on right away. Then I'm just going to make sure it's all sealed. And then I'm going to work it in to make sure all of it is green. Now, if you think that your color wasn't dark enough, you can use more. Or if maybe it's not coloring all of it, you can also use more as well. Just rubbing it all in, making sure it's nice and sealed because it, we don't want it to come out of the top of it. So. I'm going to open it back up. One more time, I'm going to give a nice little squeeze again. Now that I've worked it around, I realize I do need some more contact solution. Get it all over the sides this time. Whew. And it kind of squirted off at me, but it's okay because it's just salt water, really. Squirt it back. Nice and locked. Now I'm just working it all over. Whew. Good thing it's nice and sealed and I'm going to move it down with my fingers. Ah. This is a really fun part too. And I think I am going to add another drop. Ooh, we can start to see that really nice consistency where it is really only sticking to each other now. You can see sides where it's not sticking. I added two drops. Make it a little bit of a darker green because my colors are neon. Again, always make sure you seal it nice and good. Go over it twice if you need to. Mix it up, mix it up, making it darker green even though it's still neon. It's still going to be brighter. And you can see where it's not sticking to my bag everywhere now because I've added more contact solution. So the more I bring it down with my fingers, bring it down, bring it down. And it kind of has a little marble effect right now. That's just because I haven't rubbed it in all the way. If you want it to stay like that, you can, but the more you play with it, the less it's going to look like that marble. So rub it in. And now for the fun part, open her back up. And now I get to add in my sparkles. 
They're so cute. They're little stars. It reminds me of stargazing at camp. That is definitely going to be something I miss this year. All right, I have it nice and open and I'm just going to pour it some sparkles right in the bag. And again, you don't have to add sparkles. You could add glitter. You could add beads. You could even write things in it with beads. Um, you could add foam beads or you don't have to add anything to it. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Again, sealed it and now I'm working with it, working with it, making sure those go all the way out, those spread all over. And I'm going to work it down so I make sure that it's spreading everywhere, nice and neat. And again, I'm realizing I kind of don't want it sticking to the bag nearly as much. So what do I do? I open the bag again and add some more contact solution. I'm really going to spray on the sides this time. Good. Nice and in there. Ooh. Make sure close everything. My sparkles almost spilled because I didn't close them. There we go. Nice and tight zipped. Working it in there, working it in there. Ah. And now I think mine is just about done. I hope yours is looking a wonderful consistency as well. And you know what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually add some more sparkles. And now you can see that it's not sticking to the side. The more you play with it and the more you let that contact solution really get into the glue, the better consistency it's going to get. And one more time, I'm going to add some more sparkles. I can never have enough sparkles. So they look like that. They're just sitting in there. Close it up. They look really cool like that. And then I'm just going to mix it around, mix it around. You can see it's really starting not to stick together or stick to the side of the bag, which is exactly what you want. So now mine is looking really good, a really good consistency. It feels so nice and you might want yours to feel different and that's okay. So now that I have mine all mixed together and it is the consistency I want, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the bag. I'm just going to make sure there's no air bubbles in it. So I'm just going to squeeze it out just a little bit and kind of see how I just squeeze the air bubbles up. Don't squeeze the slime out of it, but squeeze just the air bubbles out of it. Do your best. Zip it up. Give it a good one, too. And then this is the fun part, the part you get to play with it. So now what I like to do is I like to fold it really, really flat. Fold it nice and flat so that you can almost not see through it. So it's really nice and flat. And now I like to write things in it. You can write different letters in it, or you can just play with it. It's very, very calming just to go back and forth with your hands with it. I also like to try and get all of it down to the bottom. That is very relaxing. Or you could put it on the table and squish it out, out nice and neat. And then you could just, you could do handprints in it. It's really, really nice and calming. You could try and write things in it. So I like to write different letters in it. You could even just flatten it out really, really good. All right, so you have now made slime in a bag. I hope you all had a lot of fun and this is nice and easy. Remember, keep it in the bag. There's no mess. Nobody in your family has to worry about you getting slime anywhere, but you still get to play with it. You still get to feel the nice consistency in the bag, and you get to have slime mess-free and worry-free. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye!